we would like to start with a prayer. Please bow your heads. Thank you, Father, for this day and for the sacrifices that you have made for us. Without you, we would not be here today. Thank you for our family and for our friends who have encouraged us, loved us, and supported us over the last two years. I pray that you would comfort those of us that have mothers, fathers, and grandparents that have left this world. Give us peace to know that they would be so proud of us. <clears throat> Go with each of us, Father, as we start this new chapter of our lives. I pray that you would give us strength and peace as we go on to take our NCLEX in the next, next several months. Help us to be successful the first time we take the NCLEX. Help us all to accept jobs in the field that we love and to care for our patients as you would care for them with love, compassion, and empathy. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. What a beautiful day in North Alabama. You can yell. It truly doesn't get any better than this, does it? Good afternoon and welcome to Calhoun Community College. It's our great pleasure that you have joined us for our annual nursing candlelight ceremony. As I look around, I think there is so much to be proud of in this room. Students, faculty, staff, so many family and friends, so much for which to be grateful. Students, you have chosen one of what I consider to be the most noble of professions there is, a career in the health field. But you have been and are today surrounded by those who've pursued an equally noble profession, education. Those who become nurses and teachers, we are a special breed, truly called to our fields for we help mend the body and we help develop the mind. At this time, I'd like to ask our outstanding faculty and staff members to stand. If you are a faculty or a staff member here, please stand. Would you all thank, yes. I didn't even have to ask you to join me in recognizing them for all they did. You just applauded right where you should have. That's fantastic. Likewise, I wish to thank each family member and friend here today for the support and the encouragement of these students throughout their academic journey. Students, I want you to know that Calhoun is extraordinarily proud of you and what you have achieved, and we hope that you are likewise always proud of Calhoun for the part that it's played in your life. Congratulations to you, the nursing class of 2016. Good afternoon. On behalf of the entire division, I would like to congratulate all of you on your accomplishments. You've come a long way, and the road traveled would not, was not an easy road. If you're sitting in those chairs, I want to ensure everyone in the room that they've earned it. I've attended numerous ceremonies this week and heard many great speeches and great speakers. I want to share something I heard from someone speaking at our Limestone Correctional Graduation Ceremony yesterday. Pete Steger, who was a singer-songwriter from the 50s, said, education is when you read the fine print. Experience is what you get if you don't. <laughs> Students, you've completed your education, or at least this part of your education, and soon you'll enter the workforce. I want to remind you to please not let this pinning and graduation be the end of your educational journey. Continue working at life as hard as you've worked in the nursing program. I also want to thank the faculty in the nursing program who have helped you guys achieve your dreams and your goals. Now I have the pleasure of introducing our speaker for today's event. Dr. Lynn Hogan is the nursing department chair. She is a graduate of North Florida Junior College. She completed her bachelor's degree in nursing from the University of Florida. Dr. Hogan's graduate work was completed at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. It included a master's degree in nursing and a doctorate of nursing practice. She has worked at Calhoun College for 12 years. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Lynn Hogan. Those guys are tall. 
Thanks, Dean McGill. And welcome, friends and family and guests, to our candlelighting ceremony. And welcome, Dr. Calicello. This is, this is your first time to attend our ceremony, so he's in for a treat. As a literary giant in our college, he's going to love the symbolism of today. And welcome to the graduates. Um, welcome to your candlelighting and your pinning ceremony. This is the day you've been waiting on. It's the day we set aside to celebrate with symbolic gestures the work you've done and to recognize the goal you've reached, to join the ranks of professional nurses. Not only is this a special day, but it's also a special week because it's Nurses Week, your very first Nurses Week. But before we go any further, I do, I know the nursing faculty have already stood, but I'm gonna have the nursing faculty and any other nurses uh, among us as guests today to also please stand. I wanna recognize the nurses for Nurses Week. Good to see some familiar faces that I didn't know were here as you stood. Good. As I thought about what I wanted to share with you today, I thought it might help to give you one last tip about critical thinking. And the best way I could do that was to give you an example of what critical thinking is not. Two hunters are out in the woods when one of them collapses. He's not breathing and his eyes are glazed. The other guy whips out his cell phone and calls 911. I think my friend is dead, he yells. What do I do? The operator says, calm down. First, let's make sure he's dead. There's a silence and then a shot. Back on the phone, the guy says, okay, now what? <laughs> okay, would you agree that's not critical thinking? <laughs> Don't pick that answer. <laughs> well, I do want to tell you about a nurse who did know about critical thinking. The lady with the lamp, Florence Nightingale. This week is Nurses Week because yesterday, May 12th, was Florence Nightingale's birthday. The birth of professional nursing is attributed to Florence Nightingale, who in 1853 was a manager of care. She and her nurses provided care to sick and wounded soldiers in the Crimean War. The death toll in this war 160 years ago was over 55%. Because of the horrible living conditions, 10 times more soldiers died from dysentery, typhoid, and cholera than from their wounds of war. Florence gained the, gained the nickname The Lady with the Lamp from a news report that said, she's a ministering angel without any exaggeration in these hospitals as her slender form glides quietly along each corridor. Every poor fellow's face softens with gratitude at the sight of her. When all the medical officers have retired for the night and silence and darkness have settled down upon those miles and miles of prostrate sick, she may be observed alone with a little lamp in her hand, making her solitary rounds. Florence Nightingale worked for improvements in hygiene, sanitation, light, and activity for the soldiers. She kept statistics on death rates and the cause of death. She implemented hand washing and the death rates declined. One report claimed the death rate dropped to only 2%. She used her data as evidence to advocate for hospital improvements and policy change. After the war, she established the first secular nursing school in the world and continued to advocate for the sanitary design of hospitals and the introduction of sanitation in working class homes. Because of Florence Nightingale, the lamp and flame are recognized worldwide as a symbol of dedication and excellence to nursing. Like Florence Nightingale, you'll have the opportunity to make a difference. You'll have many new doors to open. Have you ever thought about all the different kinds of doors? Revolving doors, those are fun. Indoors, outdoors, big heavy doors like on a bank. They're tall and thick to make you think your money is very safe here. There are glass doors so that you can see inside and see what's going on and give you a feeling of trust. There are open doors and there are closed doors. There's doors to your patient's room. Will you knock quietly or will you burst right in? What doors will you choose to go through? Maybe soon you'll go to the door of your bedroom and sleep long and late and uninterrupted for several days. 
There's other doors, like exit doors with a red illuminated exit over them, pointing the way out. One time there was a guy sitting at home when he hears a knock at his door. He opens the door and sees a snail on the porch, and he picks up the snail and throws it as far as he can. Three years later, there's a knock at the door. He opens it and sees the same snail, and the snail says, what was that all about? Perseverance. That's what the snail had, and curiosity. He didn't give up, and you know all about that, because you're sitting in this chair, in this assembly. So when you get to a door that may seem jammed or locked, like the snail, you can one day go back and knock again, because you know about perseverance and curiosity, and you need to keep that curiosity. Keep knocking on new doors. Keep learning every day. Never, never stop learning. So let's get to the end of this so you can go through the exit door in a few short minutes. Pinning. Each school of nursing is represented by a unique pin. I remembered to put mine on this morning from the University of Florida. And it's quickly recognizable to graduates of that school. I don't see many UF pins around here. <laughs> Florida Nightingale honored her nurses with a pin for their accomplishments. And still today, we do the same thing, to recognize your accomplishment and symbolize your connection to Calhoun School of Nursing. So no matter what kind of door or how many doors you enter and exit in your nursing career, you're always connected back to us here in the first door you walked out to become a nurse. I give you my most sincere congratulations. Thank you. Next, we have the Outstanding Student presentation. The Outstanding Student in Associate Degree Nursing selection is made by the nursing faculty for each graduating class in the fall and spring. The selection is based on academic merit, which includes a GPA above 3.2, clinical performance displaying caring, compassion, and a striving for excellence in nursing care the potential for making a worthwhile contribution to nursing, including the demonstration of professional behaviors and involvement in student affairs. And a student that maintains good interpersonal relationships, relates well with peers, superiors, and subordinates. I'm gonna ask Ms. Christina Boatwright to come forward. She was selected. So she was selected as the outstanding student for spring 2016 and she was uh, President Honors Day and got her certificate, but I still like to call attention during candle lighting. She has a 3.448 GPA. She completed her LPN certificate at Sneed State and was accepted at Calhoun in the LPN to RN Career Mobility Program in the spring of 2015. Clinical instructors and nursing faculty have this to say about Christina. Her first clinical instructor said she's knowledgeable, has good teamwork, is kind and professional. Her preceptor said she's a very strong nurse, has great organizational skills, attitude and professionalism. She was great in every performance area. Faculty say she's incredibly diligent, very compassionate and thoughtful and respectful of her peers and will be an asset to the profession of nursing. Christina currently works in long-term care and has accepted a job in the medical ICU at Huntsville Hospital. We're very proud of you, so please join me in congratulating Christina. time. <laughs> now, for the reason your family and friends have come to join us today is to see you walk across this stage. Faculty, please come forward for pinning. <clears throat> Will the first row of candidates please stand? As I call your name, please come forward for your pinning and then you may return to your seat. Zakaya Abdullah.
Jaren Anderson Herskin. Shelby Bitten. Courtney Bensler. Laura Bishop. Christina Boatwright. Abi Satu Bojang. Amberly Bradford. Sharon Wade Brannon. Paris Branner. Diane Butler. Stephanie Byers. Connor Chesser. Tiffany Conicelli. Susan Cross. Ivy Brooke Crow. Brenda Daniel. Jocelyn Dean. Victoria Denslow. Brenda Dawkus. Katie Gamble. Christina Gilliland. Alicia Goodman. Alexandria Gray. Tashina Gray. Michelle Grisham. Susan Grumman Pray. <laughs> Catherine Guthrie. Heather Hill. <laughs> Bethany Hurst. <laughs> Hannah Hovey. <laughs> Tiffany Holt. <laughs> Rosalind Johnson. Casey Kirby. Monica Knops. Shade Leslie. Katie Lyles. Brooke Maybe. Katie Marks. Yeah. 
Summer McBride. Kelsey McCarley. Lindy McCarter. Courtney McGookin. Miranda Messer. <laughs> Hannah Milam. <laughs> Emily Moore. <laughs> Elizabeth Morrow. <laughs> Cassie Myers Brooks. Carly Nash, <laughs> Catherine Netterville, <laughs> Victoria O'Mary, <laughs> Elena Pettit, <laughs> Amanda Presson. Michaela Reese. <laughs> Arlie Reeves. Tatum Rhodes. Julianne Rivers. Cassie Roberts. <laughs> Hope Ross. Sanders, <laughs> Ashley Schooley, <laughs> Danielle Scrimshire, <laughs> Jenny Schubert, <laughs> Deja Soufe. Emily Sulcer. <laughs> Amy Tricky. <laughs> Ginger Walker. <laughs> Mindy Waitman. <laughs> Kaylee Witt. Melissa Word. Now, just a little bit, little bit about candle lighting. As you've learned, we take our professional responsibilities very seriously, and you will now join all nurses in striving to maintain the high standards of our profession. In a few moments, when your candle is lit and you state the affirmations of the nursing pledge, look around at the people in this room and know that you are making a promise, not just to yourself, 
that you will hold high standards, but to each person here and to every patient that you care for in the future. You may be the person who will save their life or advocate for their rights or preserve their dignity or ensure the integrity of a peaceful death. Graduates, when the music starts, please stand and walk with your lamp to encircle the room. The lights will be dimmed and faculty will light your flame. This flame will be the only illumination in the room. This flame represents the tradition that you now carry forward in their career to uphold and to advance the nursing profession in our state, our nation, and our world. Will the graduates please stand? Take 
whose hearts are blazing. So let's raise our candles and light up the sky. Praying to our Father in the name of Jesus. Make us a beacon in darkest times. Carry your candle, run to the darkness, seek out the hopeless, deceived and Nursing is an art and a science in which skillful care, based on the application of scientific principles, is given to individuals and families in order to assist them to meet their health needs more appropriately. The ideal of service and the establishment of the appropriate relationships with patient, family, physician, and other health team members are essential to nursing. Nursing is concerned with the, pres uh, the prevention of disease and the conservation of health, uh, skillful nursing care embraces the whole person, body, mind, and soul, his or her physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. At this time, I will read the nursing pledge statements. Graduates, your ver verbal response to each statement is I will. Will you, the nursing class of, the 2000, uh, of 2016, care for the individuals and families using all available resources to facilitate their recovery and promote and maintain their health. Will you provide nursing services with respect for the dignity of man, unrestricted by consideration of sex, race, creed, color, or status? Will you safeguard the patient's right to privacy by protecting information of a confidential nature? Will you safeguard the patient when his or her welfare is endangered by incompetent, unethical, or illegal conduct of others? I will. Will you strive to maintain your individual competence in nursing practice? I will. Will you support and participate in efforts to maintain and upgrade the standards of the nursing profession? I will. At this time, the faculty of the nursing department of Calhoun Community College would like to welcome you into the nursing profession. We hope that you will continue to be devoted to the welfare of those entrusted to, you, to your care and that you will never lose your desire to practice nursing competently. Congratulations. the benediction. May the God who seeks you find you when you fall. May the God who loves you take delight in your living. May the God who sends you send you now with joy, for in your gladness and in your grieving, in your brokenness and on your healing, in your faithfulness and in your leaving, the God who made you and redeemed you is the God who keeps you still. Okay, extinguish your candles. 